number nine, the Honourable Marion Street. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Talofalaba. To the Minister for Tertiary Education, does he stand by his statement that Budget 2010 will, quote, ensure more higher education opportunities for New Zealanders, unquote? Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, yes, because Budget 2010 funds more core tertiary places than ever before. The Government is funding in 2011 117,400 full-time places at universities, which is an increase of 1,735 on previously projected figures, and 70,000 full-time places at Polytechs and Uni Institutes of Technology, which is an increase of 3,173. This is a significant achievement in tight fiscal conditions brought on by the global financial crisis. The Hon. Marion Street. To the Minister, can he confirm that when he talks about more higher education opportunities for New Zealanders, he is not talking about all the new university enrolments who are being turned away at the door because the government refuses to fund new places and universities adequately? The Hon. Stephen Joyce. Okay, uh, Mr Speaker, I would point out to the member that the numbers that we are funding this year at 116,600 is significantly more than the previous government funded in 2008, uh, funding which was projected to decline in 2009 and 10. I would also, I would also point out that the, the policy of capping university enrolments was created by the previous Labor government and implemented in 2008. The Honourable Marion Street. To the Minister, why does he stand by his original statement when the total number of places funded by the 2010 budget is only half the number of people who will be turned away from Victoria University alone in the remaining semesters of 2010. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I don't know that I want to um, argue with the members' maths, but the total number of places in 2010 is 116,572. It's difficult to believe that that number has been turned away by Victoria University, let alone double that. The Honourable Marion Street. God almighty. Um, Mr Speaker, can he confirm that when he talks about more higher education opportunities for New Zealanders, he is not talking about filling university places with full fee-paying international students at the expense of places for New Zealanders, but instead is talking about using international students' money to fund New Zealand universities, usually the responsibility predominantly of the government? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, no. My view is that we need uh, to maximise both our number of places for domestic students, which this government is doing with the highest number ever, but also improve and increase our international education fees. I would point out to the member that universities in New Zealand compete for their academic staff with universities internationally, in particular in Australia, and Australian universities have significantly more uh, fee income from international students than New Zealand universities do, and we actually have to improve the fee income in New Zealand to enable them to compete with Australian universities. That's straightforward. Mr Speaker. The Honourable Marion Street. To the Minister, can he confirm that when he talks about more higher education opportunities for New Zealanders, he is not talking about second-chance learners who rely on adult and community education courses to help them get back into formal education, given Budget 2010 continues to slash funding to that sector. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, the uh, Government has made some decisions on funding of adult and community education in which it has said that it is focusing the adult and community education on certain areas, uh, but uh, it is not expecting to subsidise all adult and community education. And this was partially in response to the unfunded commitments left by the previous Government. In terms of university full-time places and institutes and polytechnic full-time places, this year's numbers are record levels and next year's numbers will also be record levels in 2011. Question number 10, John Biscowan. Speaker, my question is...